think it can take long. All right, good morning, everybody. So today is a continuation of the problem that I noticed where my screen and my KVM were constantly disconnecting, only to find out when I put a camera on my inverter that the inverter is switching from grid mode back to battery mode for a second or two, and then switching back to grid mode again. And so I ended up putting a bunch of cameras around and I'm sorry if if it is very repetitive but I just kind of want to show you the severity of the issue that I'm experiencing and really I want to go through and document and show the good and the bad things that I'm experiencing even if even if it's only a one-time issue if I can catch it and document it I want to do that so with all these different shots that I've got, I'm going through and showing you how many times and, and how pervasive this problem is. Ever since I hooked up my MPPT2, or more commonly known as PV2, on my Inverter 1. So we'll go through and capture a bunch of different shots. Uh, I'll be showing a few from my office, just showing the issue, and then we'll switch over to the actual inverter displays. And I ran out of cameras, so as I was going through and making some changes, sorry, all you're going to hear is just me talking in the utility room with the cameras still pointing on the inverters themselves. Had my wife been home, I could have grabbed her, her phone and done some more shots but <laughs> having, having all the cameras set up, trying to record times, trying to record the experience, the displays, uh, I just didn't have any more. So let's, let's step in and I'll show you what I have discovered uh, just from taking a look at this over a few hours this morning. Next blink, 
101713. Downstairs at 1107.55, checking voltage on PV line. Getting 137 volts. PV2 back on for inverter 1, 11.08, 30 seconds, mark. Now we wait to see if we have disconnect problems again.
it's still happening. I'm going to see if I can diagnose if it's strictly the second MPPT board on inverter one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the lines in the breakers around and switch the solar arrays. Move MPPT two from inverter one over to inverter two. have the same problems. Because if we do, then that leads me to believe that it's got to be related to that second MPPT board on inverter 1. Alright, so you can see on both inverters, PV2 is down. back on. Now 
overall, still no issues. Charge the batteries and monitor for the rest of the day and see how things go. So the battery ended up dying in the camera that was pointing on my phase two inverter. So at the last bit, all you're seeing is just a little bit of phase, the phase one inverter, but you're kind of hearing me talk of some of the different things going on. After I turned off all the cameras, I had all the MPPTs turned on and I ended up still experiencing the issues of course they had to happen as soon as the cameras turned off and I documented those happening at uh, 1243 1250 another one almost at 1251 and then 1303 and I ended up walking over to the utility room and I just completely turned off PV2 on inverter one at 13.03.45. And I didn't experience any more issues that day. Like I said, it only really seemed to be pervasive when the sun was hitting all the arrays. Uh, with me being downstairs on the opposite side of the house of where the arrays are located, you know, I can't uh, distinctively say that the sun is hitting this array versus that one, and that's the one causing the problem, but it always seemed to be an issue with that PV2 connected on inverter one. So I have mentioned this to Signature Solar they have, well, let me put it like this. I sent a long list of, of questions and problems to Signature Solar, and they are sifting through my list of questions right now, and I am waiting for responses on those. So this was included in it, and with the documentation that I've done in these last two videos, uh, I can always send these videos over to them as well so they can see exactly what I'm seeing and experiencing. So whether or not this continues to happen, I don't know. We are getting into the nasty season to where the sun's not going to come out all that often, i.e. winter in Michigan. So if it continues to happen, I will try and, and document that and at least make note of it as well. If you're experiencing any of these problems, let me know. I'd be very curious. I have not heard any update from the other gentlemen having the similar issue in the DIY solar forums. So for now, we just wait and see what happens. So with that, I'm going to let you go. Uh, Y'all have a good afternoon, and we'll catch up with you later.